Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is the second part of the Friends Mystery Box unboxing. <laughs> so basically I've signed up for a subscription with Culturefly. They send me these Friends themed mystery boxes on the regular. I think it's like every three months or so. And this is the second one. It feels like a very long time ago that I did the first one. But I think because coronavirus, I think sort of started when this was due and I think all the post got held up because this comes from America and I live in the UK and it's, it was a nightmare so I think that's why there was a delay but it's here now and we can open it. <laughs> so one of you could see I have no idea what was in the box that can go away. Okay so they put the t-shirt right on top. Fair enough we will come back to you. So what we got? Ah, that's cool. We've got Phoebe's guitar post-its. That's really quite sweet. Yeah, that's really good because everybody needs sticky notes at some point and it's, it's a nice looking guitar as well. It's sort of got a faded effect so you can clearly see whatever you write and whatnot. So that's number item number one. We have a box. <laughs> we have a little mystery box inside the mystery box. <laughs> How fun is that? Okay. This looks like a jewelry box. Ah, right. It's the um, it's the brooch that Ross got for Rachel because it looked like her grandmother's and stuff. Oh, that's quite sweet. And it comes in a nice fancy case as well. I really thought there was like a proposal from Gultrafly for a brief minute because of the box, but. <laughs> Ah, oh, that's quite sweet. Ah, oh, some more cell plush. See that Ross's monkey. Ah, oh, I think his hair went a little bit wild. He's got bag, bag head. <laughs> there you go. Ah, oh, isn't he cute? But we got Marcel. Will you stay up there? Probably not. I'll tell you what, though. Oh, he, he lasted a few seconds. We have a pink cup, by the looks of it. Ah! I wasn't expecting that to come off. <laughs> okay, so there's a lot of cups that are made which are in this sort of can design. So you've got the canned lid thing, but it literally is just a cup. So this is a soda soda can one, and it's got the thumb on the bottom because Phoebe found a thumb floating in the can of soda and she was able to claim money off of it and whatnot. So that's fun. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's a notebook. Good because I, I always need notebooks. Ah, my body got stuck. Yeah. Oh my god, this is never easy to get stuff on. Cool. Right, so on the front it says, Welcome to the real world. It sucks. You're going to love it. Just a quote from Monica to Rachel, I believe. When she, like, gained her own independence and stopped using daddy's credit card and stuff. So apart from the t-shirt, the last thing in here, oh, it's a poker set. I know this because it says it on the box, but I will open it. Which is good, because I mean, I haven't played poker in a very, very long time. So it would be nice to have my own set. Maybe I'll hold a poker night. That might be quite fun, actually. I'll have to wait till lockdown's over, because I can't really play poker by myself. <laughs> Oh, nice. Cool, so we got a pack of playing cards and we have the poker chips and they're three different colours. That's a lot of chips. 
But these are the cards. I wonder if there's going to be anything on the cards. <laughs> yeah, these are quite cool. Okay. Are they all different? Oh. Some some of them are exciting, some of them aren't. Okay. So the ace has got a coffee cup on it, and then obviously you've got two, three, four, five, da 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 of whatever suit are sort of normal. I mean they've got a funky friends design on them, but up till ten, they're sort of generic. Yeah, so when you get to the picture cards, the so Jack, King, Queen, Joker, so the Jacks have got the turkey with the sunglasses on. The Queens have got the lobsters. I really don't know why Queens are lobsters, but they are. The Kings have got Marcel on them. And the Jokers, for some I don't know why reason, they have Ross as the holiday armadillo. I even like the designs. I like how even just the normal suits have got like a friend's like font. You could also turn it into a poker drinking game. So you play poker as like a normal poker game. And because it's friends, you're gonna be sort of reminded of friends because there's themes everywhere. So they could do a sort of like shot every time a friend's quote is mentioned whilst playing poker with the friends cards and yeah. But that that's good. That's probably so far my favourite thing in the box. Right. The final thing is the t-shirt, which is here. Oh, it's a... wow! Okay, so it's long-sleeved. It's got the team on the back. This is ultimately a football jersey-themed shirt. Now, this is where it gets interesting, because I'm in the UK, so my version of football is different from the American version of football. So this will be American football jersey. And I believe this is sort of themed off of the when they played football on Thanksgiving and it was sort of like Ross and Monica were going for the Geller Cup. Blah, 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 blah. But yeah, so this will be cool. I mean, I've never worn a football jersey before. It's not even like a proper football jersey, it's sort of themed football jersey. But, but we will try it on in three, two, one. Okay, so I've got it on. I don't know how I feel about it to be honest. So it's like the material is feels very soft and very light, which is good. It was sort of not what I was expecting, and it's like it's, it's comfy, but it sort of feels I don't know soft, but it's slippery. I guess a little bit like silky and whatnot. It also feels like if I have my arms down. The sleeves go up to my knuckles, which makes it feel really big. But then when I stretch out, they go all the way back here. So I don't know if it's too big or not. And I don't know how it's supposed to fit. Because obviously we don't have jerseys like this. Because normally in American football, you have them oversized so you can put padding and stuff underneath. So I don't know if like the standard sportswear would be the same oversized even though you're not putting padding in because you're just doing it to like support the team rather than you're actually playing it. I don't know. But even so, this this is what it it looks like. It's actually kind of cool. I think I like it. But it's it's confusing. Confusing. So that was the second Friends unboxing. I think this one was sort of focusing on like the first season of Friends. So it's early Friends themed products. They're really good. I really got excited about the poker set. That I think is, I think that's still my favourite. This is probably a close second. Because I don't know. I'm still umming and ahhing about this show, I'll be honest. It's a weird concept. And I think, to be honest, I think I've just got to get used to it. Because it's not a Britishy type thing. It's an American type thing. So I think I just need to get used to that. If you guys haven't seen the first video I made of the Friends unboxing, I will link that down in the description below. Um, I get these boxes from Culture Fly. This isn't the only box I'm actually subscribed to. I also do a Supernatural unboxing as well. I will link that playlist below in case you're interested in watching the Supernatural ones. I do like Culture Fly. I think their boxes are amazing. I've never been really disappointed with anything they've sent. There's always something in there that I absolutely love. So if you're interested, I will leave Culture Fly's information down below. Go visit their website, check out their boxes. Because they do more than just Friends and Supernatural. I think they've got uh, 
Well, they had a Game of Thrones one on there. I'm not sure if they're finishing that now because obviously Game of Thrones is over. Um, there's a Nickelodeon one. I think there's a Machine one, which is relatively new. So they keep adding new boxes on there, and there's always something going on. And because it's a subscription, and I think it's every three months, it's nice to just get a surprise every three months, and you just open it, and you have no idea what's in there. And because they're sort of themed... You're guaranteed to like a bit more, whereas if you go just to get random mystery boxes, it could be anything in a wide world of stuff, whereas at least this one's a bit more specific. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Feel free to like, subscribe, whatever you want, and hopefully I will see you here again. Bye! Yeah. <laughs>